Good morning. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. It is. It is. Last days of our vacation. Last yeah. of our pre-recordings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We really look forward to getting back to being with you live. Yeah. It's it's not the same without all of the interaction and um, we we miss hearing from everybody. Uh, vacation is is really nice. It is. Taking that downtime, which is really important, but you're right. You're right. It's not the same. This is not the this same. This is not the as, same. As when we're live with everybody. We do appreciate those who have um, connected with us through the Facebook app or through um, uh, the website or emails or texts or however um, with prayer requests, yep. commenting on these videos with prayer requests and we can keep you in prayer and update our list and thank you for all the joys and the concerns that we can share with mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. I am Pastor Jenny. Welcome to The Bending Road. And I'm Pastor Dave. And it's always good to journey together. Because no matter where you go in life, two things are for certain. One, you will eventually come to a bend in your road. And two, God will always see you through. We're reading this morning from Matthew. And this is a long passage. It's chapter 9, verse 35, through chapter 10, verse 23. All right. Well, Jesus traveled along among all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, announcing the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and every sickness. Now, when Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were troubled and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the size of the harvest is bigger than you can imagine, but there are few workers. Therefore, plead with the Lord of the harvest to send out workers for his harvest. He called his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to throw them out and to heal every disease and every sickness. Here are the names of the twelve apostles. First Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon and uh, the Canaan, Cananean and Judas who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent these 12 out and commanded them, don't go among the Gentiles or into the Samaritan city. Go instead to the lost sheep, the people of Israel. As you go, make this announcement. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those with skin diseases, and throw out demons. You received without having to pay. Therefore, give without demanding payment. Workers deserve to be fed, so don't gather gold or silver or copper coins for your money belts and take to, to take on your journey, your trip. <laughs> old texts. Yeah, old yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, don't take a backpack for the road or two shirts or sandals or a, a walking stick. Whatever city or village you come, go into, find somebody in it who is worthy and stay there until you go on your way. When you go into a house, say, peace. If the house is worthy, give it your blessing of peace. But if the house isn't worthy, take back your blessing. If anyone refuses to welcome you or listen to your words, shake the dust off your feet as you go or as you leave that house or city. I assure you that it will be more bearable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on Judgment Day than it will be for that city. Look, I am sending you as sheep among wolves. Therefore, be wise as snakes and innocent as doves. Watch out for people, because they will hand you over to councils and they will beat you in their synagogues. They will haul you in front of governors and even kings because of me, so that you may give your testimony to them and to the Gentiles. Whenever they hand you over, don't worry about how to speak or what you will say, because what what you can say will be given to you at that moment. You aren't doing the talking, but the Spirit of my Father is doing the talking through you. Brothers and sisters will hand each other over to be executed. A father will turn his child in. Children will defy their parents and have them executed. 
Everyone will hate you on account of me, but whoever stands firm until the end will be saved. Whenever they harass you in the city, escape to the next, because I assure you that you will not go through all the cities of Israel before the human one comes. How far? Uh, 23. There we are. There we are. So there's a, there's a lot of a lot of warning in that. A lot of of here's a heads up. Here's yeah. what's coming for it's you. It's not going to be easy. But uh, a, a lot of positive things in there as well. Yeah. And 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 the the support of the Lord, um, the word of of the Spirit, um, just just a lot of of, of positive uh, good things there. The authority. To cast out demons, to heal diseases, yeah. to yeah, to, and to preach the word, the simple message. Yeah, yeah. The kingdom of heaven is near. I feel like in in reading that 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 we as Christians, especially the Christian leaders, pastors, have forgotten that this is hard work. Mm-hmm. That that this is possibly dangerous work that that we are contrary to society that we are we are doing things that people don't understand and and we've forgotten that and we've kind of laid back and doing the work and and, and there's no hazard pay there's no hazard pay right yeah, right yeah. you receive freely so give without asking for yeah, yeah. um so Lord, I, I pray for our churches, I pray for our clergy, mm-hmm. I pray for um, our, our bishops, our leaders, our district superintendents, um, and, and all of those, those um, roles in other churches that come by different names that I don't, I don't know throughout all the different denominations. But um, Lord, may we remember mm-hmm. that this was never meant to be easy. That, that mm. Christianity has never been um, simple and without conflict. Um, and we're beginning to experience some of that more and more every day here in America. But Lord, we, we pray for those, those uh, churches in those countries where... <laughs> It, it remains illegal to be gathered as right, a church, to, right. to be the church, where they are persecuted and for the faith and and where they are indeed executed and imprisoned. And and we pray, Lord, for your blessing upon them, that, mm-hmm. that, that they may stand firm in the faith, um, that they may testify of you to the end, that, that they may be they may bring glory to you and an encouragement to the rest of the church as a result. And Lord, all of that has to do with with um, the conflict between society and the church. But mm. there's also conflict going on in the church. And that's, right. I feel that's just so inappropriate. I, I, I'm really disturbed by the conflict within the church, especially when it goes to court. I just don't think yeah. that's what we're supposed to be doing. Um, but there's churches all over, um, <clears throat> Methodist churches that are going to court over all of the, um, the disaffiliation stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and so Lord, I pray that they would find their way out of court, that they would find their way to a peaceful resolution among ourselves. We're supposed to handle this internally, not, not in the public eye, um, and even with the, the churches that are in conflict and stuff is showing up on Facebook and social media um, and in the newspapers, again, that's not supposed to be in the public eye. We're supposed right. to handle that amongst ourselves. Lord, forgive us for dragging this out into the public mm. square. Mm. Forgive us for our inability to keep it where it belongs. And, and Lord, I pray that that we could end this soon so that we will stop creating this bad name for the church. Mm-hmm. We're, we're just, yeah. 
Yeah. It's not a good situation. And Lord, we are uh, the, the, the first part of that text. Jesus tells us that, and I like the way it read, um, that, uh, let's see. He said to his disciples, the size of the harvest is bigger than you can imagine, but there are few workers. The size of the harvest is bigger than you can imagine. Oh, Lord, we we know that that your word is faithful and true. Mm-hmm. That the size of the harvest out there is bigger than can be than than we can imagine. But the workers, there are few workers. So we pray, Lord, uh, that, that that you yeah. would send out workers for the harvest. That that um, you would raise up those who would preach your word. And and uh, bring about a change of hearts and mm, lives. Yes. Not that they manipulate or anything, but that they just speak the truth of your yes, word, yes. and that your word would penetrate the stony hearts that yes. that are all around. And even in this disaffiliation uh, mess uh, in the Methodist Church, Lord, may this be an avenue to bring in workers as we. As we separate mm-hmm. um, and now create two two separate denominations, um, may it be an opportunity to bring workers into the church so that we can we can have a greater harvest. It's you know it's fascinating to think about that in terms of the history of what's been happening in the Methodist Church that that just just a, a few years ago, 2020 was supposed to uh, present an opportunity for us to to <laughs> multiply the possibilities and right. bless each other and and uh, agree together to to go separate ways in in a way that that would honor the church that would honor the Lord and and uh, multiply the 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 outcome of mission and ministry and and because 2020 was wrapped up in pandemic and and so on and so forth now and for the, for three years um, and now now there's anger and bitterness and anxiety and trepidation and and lawsuits and you name it that that I don't I don't know what happened yeah, there was there was a happened. way to make this work and boy it did it just did not and 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 Lord I pray that you would continue to teach us through that continue to show us um, your way and may we walk in it mm-hmm. thank you Lord. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Lord, may they, may the world know that we are Christians by our love. By our love. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Lord. May they know that we belong to you by the way we love each other through this. Mm-hmm. Lord, if we could get that. Yeah. Oh, Lord, man. I pray that. Only, only you can do this. But Lord, I pray that somehow you would you would shield the world from the anger and hatred that we have put out there, um, the the nasty talking, the you know all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Lord, would you shield the world from that? Protect the world from us, where we have not loved one another. So that your your name would be praised, so that you you would be glorified. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Mm. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, we are excited to be back with you on Monday morning. Yep. And um, we we really look forward to that. We hope that that. You have been blessed through the the pre recordings. I know they're not the same, but um, kind of a kind of a placeholder for us. And um, we look forward to being with you on Monday morning. We encourage you to share 
um, with with friends and family who are in need that if they they have a place they 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 need if they are in a place of life where they need prayer um, let them know about this time of prayer we would love to join them in in mm-hmm. their in their joys or their concerns and, right. and join them right. in in the journey along the bending road have a great day we will see you on monday morning